Hey folks, welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. Oh, we're back. I'm so happy. I am very excited. Uh, when last we left off, uh, things were pretty eventful. Uh, we ended disc one with um, sort of basically firing the mana cannon at the Great Seed in order mm -hmm. to keep it dormant. Um, but in the process, we learned that Colette has been hiding an illness from us. Mm -hmm. So um, we're back in Azalea while she's being seen to. Yep. Um, and and we, sort of, to... we sort of talked about this like together earlier today, how... We, what we've sort of uncovered here is sort of like someone's patch job for a bigger problem. Um, and it's Yeah, it's really... like what we thought we were solving was a solution to a different problem. Exactly. And so like, now we have to figure out how to solve the core problem, yep. not all of these different like symptoms that we keep addressing. Exactly. It's like, mm, it's our problem now. So, all right, we got shit going down. Oh, I guess we got... Uh, <laughs> all right. This is an outrage. Those who are banished bringing, uh, returning without permission. The Chosen failed atrociously. It's the end of the world. Oh, boy. Well, he certainly hasn't changed. And on top of that, people we thought were elves are actually half-elves. I bet you were the ones that led the design to, to attack the village. This is bad! What did you say? Mayor, he's only a child. It doesn't matter if he's a child, he's a half-elf. Oh my god. I've heard enough from you, now listen. It's true that the Professor and Genus are half-elves. But so what? There are good half-elves, just like there are bad humans. Like you. <laughs> like you, asshole. Ugh. What does a kid know? You were raised by a dwarf. You're just a racist man. He's a very racist Holy man. Holy shit. It's no wonder you caused the Chosen to fail her journey. And you even brought a bunch of dirty prisoners back here. Ooh. Uh, it's intolerable how much pain you've caused the good humans of this village. Oh, I like how... The, what? Huh? The, I like how the... the the townspeople are like, what the fuck, man? Well, that's also, that's, um... Is that, uh, that's Chocolat. Chocolat, yeah. yeah. So he's like, all right. All right, Chocolat. Was I voicing her? I don't even remember. You are now? I think I was. That's enough. You're just complaining about everything. Does any part of you besides your mouth even work? Chocolat. Yeah, you tell him. I've had all I can handle all this chump. You criticize and attack people for their birth and upbringing, things they cannot change. It is you who are not human. Oh damn, Ooh, Prisea. That's a burn. What? We have an we have an arrangement with the designs. I have a duty to protect this village. Isn't that right? Oh. <laughs> All the village people are like, say something. Genus is the smartest person in this village. He even knows factorizations that you don't. The professor is scary when she's angry, but when I know when I know the answer, she's happy too. Lloyd isn't any good at school, but he's the strongest in the village. He saved me when I was attacked by monsters. Colette, Colette, she's always falling down and stuff, but she never cries. <laughs> she doesn't cry even when it hurts. Colette is really grown up. Everyone. Oh, Rain. Shut up! You children go away! Those children understand the truth much better than you. Who do you think you are? And it's not just you. Everyone shoved all the responsibility on the Chosen and Lloyd and the others. What have you done? You haven't done anything! We are powerless. Yeah. No, I think it was you. Oh, that <laughs> was you. Uh, oh. But, uh, uh, whatever. But... Uh, but even powerless, we can still aid the Chosen and her companions when they return exhausted to this village. Mayor, your words are so shallow, even a child can see through them. Ooh! Uh, you say that you are powerless to enforce everything onto the Chosen. But when you when push comes to shove, you turn the blame on her? That's just too much. For Cesus is dead. There are no more restrictions upon this village. We will take the Chosen and her companions and, and the people from the ranch. And, Mayor, we're not going to let you say a word about it. Yeah. Everyone, are you sure? I'm a half-elf, remember? But you were raised in this village. I totally forgot what his voice was. Too. <laughs> he's <laughs> just a random dude, but he's standing up for us. I feel like I should know what his voice is. And he's got a cool hat. Uh, and Lloyd, uh, and Lloyd is like a member of this village, too. Thank you, everyone. Fine, do whatever you want. Bye. <laughs> Leave. I must apologize, too. What? 
You saved me, and yet I, I couldn't bring myself to accept it. I heard at the ranch how you were kind to Grandma. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Chocolat. I'll always remember Marble for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. I think he's got her in his hand, right? Uh, no. No, not he doesn't. But Genus does. Genus does. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. No, he's got. He's got mom. Yep. Yeah. Let's go back to Colette. Oh boy. Hey, uh, can you talk to some ladies? Oh, good. Good point. We haven't talked to these ladies yet. You bring hey, up a very good point. Get that money. Hey, you stood up for us. Yeah. Oh, thank Jesus. you. Yeah. Orange excellent. gel. Hey, kid. Sheep. I wonder if kids uh, will give you shit too. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. That, that <laughs> other lady gave us 350 gold. Oh my god, even the child yep. gave us some. <laughs> she gave us a dark bottle. <laughs> a little creepy, Holy it's alright. shit, yeah, it's a little Let's strange. Let's get those. Alright, we're looking for- Ah, uh, hey, here Grady. we go. Have we done it? Did we uh, do it? God again? damn it. Can we talk to you? No? There. Oh. oh, that's it. Good luck. Lloyd, how about giving the Chosen some time? Okay, apparently that wasn't what I was right. supposed to be doing. You're right. Okay. That was just one thing. It's fine. Can you talk to m the mom? I, it doesn't matter. I, I, maybe later. <laughs> uh, what are we supposed to do here? Um. Well, we just dispersed a mob, so that's good. That's good. I guess we talk around this town. Ta this do thing we, been burned down. Do we go over to the ranch and pull people out? Like. Oh, Rain. We need to go find Rain. She oh, ran off. she ran off. That's correct. Yep. All right. Hey, oh, Rain. there she is. Oh, her house oh, burned Rain. down. Oh, no. Professor, oh, what is it? No, it's nothing. Just... No. No, never mind. Huh? Perhaps this village has some hope left for it, after all. I was really looking forward to you chewing out the mayor. I'm not stupid enough to waste my time lecturing pigs. <laughs> oh! Well, well, my apologies. Oh, that's it? Oh, I guess we got, got her now. Is that their house? Yeah. It got burned down? Yeah. Oh, I guess in the, uh... In the attack. In the attack. That's yeah. why all of these places have been burned down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, I think all right. now we've now done everything. Now that we've got her back. I yeah. mean, we oh. can go out of town. Oh. Small first step. There we go. Okay. What we got? Who is it? I'm so glad people of the village accept you, Genus. But the mayor... Just leave idiots like him alone. There's always stubborn people like that. All you can do is just work to change the, those around by us little by little. Jesus. Then Azalea is our first little step. <laughs> For me, it's a great leap forward. Huh? D did you say something? No, it's nothing. No, oh, I was barely there. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Rain and Genus. I know. Yeah, we're sticking this pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, Freddy's gone. And yeah, and I guess pause here. Pa. Hello, Papa. Let's, let's go on up. Oh. oh, nobody's nobody's here. Okay, let's go talk to Papa. Hey, that makes me uh nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos and Colette are gone. Um, are you all right? Here, let me heal you. Thank you, Papa. Thanks, Papa. Be careful. Well, well great. Okay. All right. Was there a door upstairs that I missed? No. Mm, Is, I don't it know. Is it my fault? Okay. Is it oh, my fault? Oh, it's just you. I'm yeah. sorry. Do you mean Colette? If I hadn't made that key crest, Colette uh, wouldn't have wound up like this. Mm. And instead, she would still have no heart. No, if you hadn't saved her, Colette would have been killed by Crucius as a tool for Martel's resurrection. Well, that's true, but... I don't want there to be any sacrifices. I don't want anyone to suffer. That way of thinking is not wrong. But you must deal with the frustration of the fact that sometimes you are force, forced to make a choice. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <sighs> Lloyd, take responsibility for the choices you have made. You're too harsh, Professor. Jesus. The reason I say such harsh things is that I believe that you can overcome them. You're strong, Lloyd. Oof. Oh, yeah, that was a heavy, heavy conversation. Shit. Jesus. Um, okay. I guess you can save. Nah, you We just saved. We just saved. Um, I just need to find where they've gone. Oh, there they are. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Colette, are you alright now? Yes, I think. Um, I'm sorry for making everyone worry. 
I have accepted a request from Phydra and Frank to escort the Chosen to your father's house. To Dad's house? Why? Grandmother said that dwarves know the most about Crucius Crystals. I see. Yeah, they probably do. Uh, then I'll go with you. I should visit Dad every once in a while. <laughs> visit your dad! <laughs> yes, you do that. <laughs> uh, yes, you do that. After I deliver the Chosen, I will return to Crucius. But what about Sheena? I requested a message be sent. She should rejoin you soon. Gotcha. Then let's go back to Dad's place. Okay. So he literally said, I'm gonna leave the party. You're gonna get your other party member back. Yep. <laughs> uh, curse of Sword Nebulim. Ooh. The curse of, uh, the cursed Sword of Nebulim. Uh, it still gives me chills just looking at it. It's really admirable that Ambition was uh, to collect and seal these. Ba 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 ba. What's wrong, Persea? There's a disturbing sound. Can't you hear it? No, I don't hear anything. That's creepy. Hmm. If Colette can't hear it, it must be your imagination. I suppose you're right. It must just be my ears. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, design Whoa. hero. That Forcistus guy was a little different from the other gra five grand cardinals. He was a design hero who once killed every member of a group of humans that were leading a massacre of half elves. Hmm. Ooh. Jeez. A hero. It is said that he was full of knightly virtue, kind to his companions, and a fierce god of death to his enemies. From a human point of view, he's a horrible villain, but to half elves, he must have been a true hero. Hmm. Yes. That is why war is so tragic. To win means to make victims of your opponents and give birth to others. Oh shit! For Forcistus uh, had been born in a world where he was accepted, where we accepted one another, he might have been able to get along. Hm. Yes, perhaps so. Forcistus. Forcistus. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't not. It's Dirk. Yeah, hey Yay! Dirk, welcome back. Dad, or how have you been? Yeah. Were you affected by the earthquake? This area is on top of hard bedrock. Everything is fine. Oh, good. that's good. We are here by the request of Colette's family. They wish for you to help her. I'm afraid even if Crucius crystals are an evolved form of X-Sphere, I still don't know the first thing about them. It'd be a better idea to ask a dwarf over in that Tethyala place. Oh, oh, that's a good point. So even you don't know anything about these? Know. I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. Oh man, the sound's acting up again. At least stay here for the oh, night yeah, and I get hear some that. rest. I must politely decline. Ah, uh, all right. Oh, you poor game. Wait, are you really going back to Crucius? I am an angel of Crucius. Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders to leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martel was not lost. That goes along with Yggdrasil's wishes. It's true, then. You really are our enemy. Lloyd. What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Carlon War. Remember the words of the unicorn that laid Umasi. Wait, why are you with Crucius when you're a human? <laughs> what is he trying to do? I think what's most interesting about this whole thing is that huh. all of the anger seems to have gone out of Lloyd. He's just like, hey. curious. Yeah, Kratos just now? he's not mad at him. He's just like, what? what is your motive? Yeah, like, what's what your... are you... What are you doing? What are you getting at here? Mm -hmm. Like, what? what is even going on? I like the idea that he's like a double agent. Um, mm -hmm. But I this is frustrating because the game has given me all of the pieces, or at least I feel like it's giving me a lot of pieces about Kratos, mm -hmm. but I don't know how to put them together. Okay. Like, I don't, like, I don't know how to connect the dots currently. Um, that is really interesting because this game yeah, I, 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 maybe it's different for you in hindsight now because you've played oh, this game so it's, it many times. It is impossible for me to know when I knew things. Yeah, like I, I it's like it's fun because on one hand I feel like they foreshadow things like almost over the top, but on right. the other hand I feel like what they do is they just give you the information, but then they kind of sit back and just see exactly. if you can put it together. Like I, I have yeah. so much like I have so much information about him, but I don't know how to process it and mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with it. Like, like. He's a human, supposedly, but he's an angel, and he works for Crucius, but 
but not really, and he doesn't really answer to you, Drassiel, but sort of. But it's like, mm -hmm. ah, but I don't know what to do with any of that. And clearly Lloyd doesn't either, and I like how Lloyd is Lloyd and the play are sort of one and the same right now. You're kind of like, what? Yeah, they're stepping yeah. in sync, trying to figure this out. Exactly. And feeling like you're getting close, but just not able to, like, Yeah, but quite... you're like, I can't, I'm still not quite there. Mm -hmm. um, it's like... He, like that line, he's like, oh, yeah, I guess you really are our enemy. But then he's like, but not really? Mm -hmm. Like, but what are you? Just like, God, what is he up to? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, I, that, Sheena just read that line. Sheena? Yeah. He returned to Crucius. I see. So he really is our enemy. I love how that's yeah. everyone's reaction. They're just yeah. like, oh, I, okay. Oh, he's all against right. us. Yeah. But anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we did something. Um, I bet you lived a crappy hard life so far, huh? Hey, Basil. Hey. You sure know how to cheer someone up, don't you? <laughs> well, don't worry about it too much. So now what? Aren't you at your wit's end right about now? Why do you say that? The giant tree, which we thought was all good, goes nuts. Our cute little Colette comes down with some funky cold. It's just human nature to start getting tired of it all. <laughs> I'm never gonna give up. If I quit, I'll never be able to face all the people who've suffered because of what I've done. So I'm gonna fight to the very end. I can't give up. Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Well, but I guess that's what I dig about you. <laughs> that's good. He's hot-headed and stubborn as, as hell, but he's also grown up and mature about it mm -hmm. and doesn't like just fly off and even when he did he was always like you're right i was i was out of line there like yeah i see where i was wrong and now he just is able to think ahead before doing that yeah so. now he just doesn't blow up yeah up. like he, he steps great, back and thinks great yeah. kid mm -hmm. yeah all right the great. problem is what to do now we need to know how the two worlds were forced apart before we can figure out a way to save them how the worlds were forced apart i wonder about that too but I also want to know why Yggdrasil split the world in two. Don't you think it was to protect the Great Seed? To protect Martell? But because the worlds were pulled apart, that phase thing got shifted, and the Great Seed became unstable, right? Mm -hmm. and that's not really protecting her. That's more like putting her in danger. Lloyd, you managed to say something intelligent every now and then. You're absolutely right. <laughs> every now and then? Jeez, that's harsh. The who, why, and how. That's what we need to know. Right now, all we know is who. Oh, I have... Mm. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Ah, uh, but I... It's probably so way off... Off... Off in, like, La La Land. Um, okay. Um, I'm curious now, though. I'm really curious about Martell, Yggdrasil, and, um... Mythos. This whole Sorry. time, oh, shit. Colette hid her Sorry. suffering deep in her heart. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Yggdrasil, Martell, and Mythos. Mm -hmm. If it was something to do with the three of them, like with Yggdrasil intentionally wanting to cut off, like, Martell and Mythos. Okay. Um, like, come like, between them? Come between or them. Limit them? Like, okay. like, as a love triangle kind okay. of thing. Yeah, no, that's interesting. Um, I, I have no. It, it feels incredibly baseless, um, but that was sort of like, that was the only thing that sort of came to mm -hmm. mind in that instant. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm spitballing here. No, that's um, definitely possible. It's fascinating. Because I don't know, we don't know how old Yggdrasil is. No. Like, we, we have no clue. Honestly, with the information they've given us so far, it is impossible to, like, Place the Yggdrasil anywhere, right? And say you were. Here I don't at this know time. what timeline yeah. he's operating in. Honestly, same with Mythos too. Like, yeah, the we game know at some point Mythos interacted with the Summon Spirit. Yeah, but past that, the game wants you to think that he's named after the hero Mythos, mm -hmm. um, but also being like, oh, I thought you, you meant sure? I thought you meant the hero Mythos when we were talking. Not, I was. Not our I did mean okay. the hero Mythos, but who's to say that the hero Mythos and our Mythos aren't one and the same? That's possible. So. Since we also have Yggdrasil, where who fuck knows mm -hmm. how old he is. And Martell, who's in a tree, who's also, yep. like... <laughs> and who clearly was in the tree before 
all this happened, right? Or during all this happening, right? Or something, around or it got put so, in the tree. Yeah. And that so, yeah. Um, I don't know. That was just that was a thought, and I was like, I gotta get that out there. Yeah, that's so. fair. Okay, Regal. And always kept a smile on her face. Yeah. And once again, I failed to notice. She is a courageous girl. It takes tremendous strength to smile no matter how dire the situation. Colette hides her suffering too much. It's okay for her to let her true feelings show. She knows the power that words possess. Power of words? Your will manifests itself in the words you speak, whether they be curses or words of joy. The soul of those words yields power. I get it. Okay. And I'm gonna say it out loud right now. I will save Colette in both worlds. Aww. Hmm. Can you talk to, um... Fuck, I almost said Rapide. <laughs> noise. Yep. Can you talk to Noish? Hey, Rapide. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shitty Rapide. You a, I know, I'm gonna give you a knife and send you to battle. <laughs> Get to work, my boy. You did. <laughs> Noish had very little um, to say. nothing to say. Uh, for Sam. This area resembles Ozette. Aww. Yeah, actually it does. does. Yeah. yeah. This entire area is surrounded by a forest. Lloyd, I heard about Chocolat. And about Marble? Yes, and other things as well. Were you hurt by Chocolat's hatred towards you? Oh, jeez. Oh, well, yeah. It's definitely painful when someone hates you, even if I deserved it. I see. But I'm going to do everything I can to make up for it, even if I don't ever make up for it completely. Even if she never forgives you? Whether or not you're forgiven isn't important. It's the effort that matters. At least, that's what I think. Aww. Bruce is <sighs> staring around the corner at Regal. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, boy. I feel like I'm starting to hate humans more and more. Oh, Jesus. It's a weird thing to say so casually. Wow. I mean, I get it, but like, Jesus. God, that's a casual way to drop yeah. some dark shit. I'm sorry, Genus. You don't have to apologize, Lloyd. I like you, as well as the people of Isalia. It's just that when I think about how there are lots of people who think just like the mayor... I remember a lesson where the professor said that words exist in order for people to understand one another. What do you do about people who don't want to understand? Genus. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out on you. Don't worry about it. Aww. Man, Genus, you really, like distill a very strong sentiment that I mm -hmm. think I I feel that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. We Sorry, I, just, to her. I yeah. guess. I guess okay. when we when she arrived, we talked with her. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Oh, hey, can Dirk. You talk to Dirk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you've grown yeah. so big, my boy. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Dad. Awesome. Uh, Colette. Colette. I was saving her for last. Yeah. I assume she's gonna be the end of the. Lloyd, I'm sorry being a burden to you again, aren't I? Stop, Colette. What are you talking it's, about? It's okay. You're the one that's suffering. Stop a- Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lloyd, you saw my shoulder, right? Yeah. I wonder if I'm just gonna turn into one big X-sphere. You dork. There's no way that'll happen. But it keeps spreading. Right now it's still hidden under my clothes. But eventually- Colette. If that happens, you're gonna hate me. I've caused you so much trouble, and, and now on top of that, my body's turning into this disgusting thing. It's not disgusting. Remember what I said. You're you. Even if you become an X-Fear. No. No, I won't let you become an X-Fear. <laughs> really? Yeah. Have I ever lied before? Well, okay, I have. But I did keep my promise to give you your birthday present. It was late, but yeah, you did. So I swear late. that I'll save you no matter what. I promise. <laughs> you always save me, and you always keep the promises you've made to me. Yeah, so cheer up. When you're down, everyone feels sad, including me. I'm truly thankful to have met you, Lloyd. This time, I don't want to disappear. I really don't. I'm gonna live, right? I'm going to be able to stay by your side. Of course. You're right here, in front of me, alive. I swear that you will be absolutely, positively, indubitably all right. <laughs> indubitably? Look at you. Good word, Lloyd. Oh. Uh, what are we going to do now? Let's go see Altessa for Colette. 
Yes, regarding, uh, oh, regardless of whether or not we trust Kratos' words, uh, we'd better return to Tethyala for now. Can we trust him, though? Oh, wait, we can't go back to Tethyala? We, the... uh, I think so, I mean... Oh, because of the moon gate thing? Well, no, I, I don't think, um... I don't think the worlds actually slipped apart. The concern was when you severed all the mana links, the worlds were going to fundamentally slip apart. But then, oh, but the then it didn't happen. Yeah, the mana links yeah. were pulled back, and the seed was holding them together anyway. So like, right, we're I still see. connected. It's only by a thread, but we're still connected. Okay, okay, yeah, all right. Uh, we don't have any other leads. All we can do is keep on going. So we should be able to fly via the um, the the gate. Okay. At the gates. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Yep. Awesome. Okay. There we right, go. Uh, and the renegades there. are in the desert. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Turn it around. There we go. Love the riards. Love them. We're going the right way. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could have flown backwards the whole way, but I just like, sometimes I feel silly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, go to Sethi Alley. There we go. <laughs> I hit it blind. <laughs> Woo, here we okay, are. Okay, and we're now going to Altessa's. Perfect. Which is right over here. Are there any locations that we haven't like done yet? So there's one thing I'm gonna fly over it and just point out a, an area we haven't gone to. Okay. Um, cool. Which is, and then I'll fly back up to Altessa's. Awesome. Okay. This. Oh, what is that? Exactly. We've flown over it a couple <laughs> times and you've pointed it out a yeah, couple times. Yeah, that's true. Um, but that's the only thing I can I can think of. Okay. Ooh, is it a punishment? Oh. Colette, is your body okay? Yes, I'm sorry to worry you. I see. That's good, then. I wonder if... Uh... If this is a punishment, because I quit the world regeneration. Oh, girl, no. Nonsense. Nonsense. You <laughs> suffered through all of that by yourself. I wonder if to say bullshit. How, yeah, exactly. Yeah. How could anyone want to punish that? Thank you, Lloyd. Okay. Oh. Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. Shall not speak that way. Um. Okay. <laughs> How it's do like, we land? Well, no, it's not that. It's like I just wanted to make sure I was at the right place. Oh. Okay. There we go. All right. Sweet. All right. Okay. Um. Do you want to uh, go talk to Altessa next time? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Sounds In the like meantime, I might, I might want to fiddle with the sound and see if I can. Yeah, fix it. it did this once before, and it's it's just the game. It's something weird happening with the game. So yep. it, we're just it's an old game on an old PS3. So. We'll figure it out. Yep. And hopefully it'll all be sorted by next time. And uh, we'll talk to Altessa and see if he can help Colette in any way. Yes, that sounds great. All right. See you next time, guys. Bye.